what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and today i'm ready with my new mic stand i hope the quality is much 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 better now i'll just check yes it is recording by the new snowball 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 ice all right so today as you know the nakshatra of pushya is running pushya nakshatra is the day when i always start a new playlist because pushya is the nakshatra that signifies growth expansion advancement enlightenment anything and everything which is good is signified by the nakshatra of pushya as we all know therefore the playlist which i am starting today is the playlist of motivation self motivation and i would start this by sharing a beautiful story the once there was a sage oh before the story <laughs> god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him even in the story <laughs> and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video then click the like button and check my other videos in the other playlists you will find them and if you are interested in doing some donation then the link to paypal is there in the comments you can go and donate some or continue watching this video till the end now it's dead night here <laughs> and what happens in the night yes the scorpion comes out maybe i will talk about the zodiac sign scorpio right today no i am not going to talk about scorpio i am going to no i am going to talk about sagittarius actually zodiac sign no i will talk about the personality that represents the zodiac sign of sagittarius which is jupiter so basically the story that i am going to share today is about a sage so what happened is once there was a sage so this sage was traveling near a ocean and he was doing his morning prayers his morning rites his morning rituals and he was offering water to the sun god he was doing surya namaskar and while he was doing that what happened was a scorpion came out of nowhere and it hit him very badly in his hand and then he took the scorpion and he threw it on the inner side of the ocean on the deeper areas and then his disciple the shishya of this guru was there beside him and the shishya asked my god are you still living <laughs> of course he was not a ordinary sage he was a very powerful sage then what happened he came and told to the shishya that Yes I am fine. I am all right. There's no problem. And then what happened? As he was continuing his morning rituals, again the snake came. Oh uh, sorry, the scorpion out of nowhere, the same scorpion. It came again. And it hit him very badly again in the hand, in the palm. And then again the sage took him and threw him towards the ocean. then this happened again and again and again and again and the disciple was frustrated the disciple of this guru was frustrated he said guru ji can you please tell me what is going on <laughs> what a ruckus this is this scorpion is only biting you because you are throwing it again and again you are throwing him to the water again because of which he is living why don't you throw him to the land towards the land to the opposite side so that he dies if he will not get water good question right <laughs> so what do you think what did the sage say the sage said oh no 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 you should not kill killing is a sin this that all these standard philosophies he didn't say any of that the sage said something very instrumental very instructive can you guess what the sage said let me give you some time 3 2 1 <laughs> <laughs> so what this sage said was that if see he said everybody should do their dharma 
that means everybody should be doing their duty and what means what it means is that he said my duty is to protect everybody first protect the soul by giving spiritual knowledge and then also protect people's bodies because ultimately you practice spirituality with your body you don't just practice it right <laughs> you don't become a ghost and practice you practice in a human body human body is exclusively given for spiritual realization spiritual perfection that is why human body is very much valued but the duty of a scorpion is is to hit you with the sting what you call it the scorpion has that on his back that poison which he has so that is his dharma wherever he goes whatever he sees he will just thak 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 he will do like this and then what happens you have your dharma which is to protect which is to enlighten and then the scorpion has his dharma his or her <laughs> i don't know it was a male scorpion or a lady scorpion then the sage said if this scorpion is not giving up his dharma his duty of biting me of hitting me of hitting me so hard that i can die also then why should i as a sage give up my dharma of protecting this scorpion should i repeat if the scorpion is not giving up his duty why should i give up my duty that's not good the scorpion is doing what he wants and even i should do what i want and my duty is to protect everybody irrespective of they like me they hate me they want to kill me or they want to give me something or they want to take something from me irrespective of that my duty is to protect everybody so there you see what a divine nature of the sage he had even if this the scorpion was killing him literally by biting he still didn't kill the scorpion he could have crushed the scorpion with his hands or with his feet somehow maybe once or twice it would sting again but somehow he could have smashed it but he still didn't do that on the other hand he was throwing the scorpion to the water so that he lives he stays alive that's the divinity of this age now of course we cannot be like him <laughs> when somebody harms us according to the situation the desh kala patra time place circumstances we will have to take the necessary precautionary measures so that it doesn't happen again and we don't suffer again but the point which i am making here is please do not think that you cannot do what you should do if the sage can do his dharma even when the scorpion is inserting the poison why can't you or me or everybody or anybody do what we are supposed to do whatever duty we have we may be a husband we may be a father we may be working as a government civil servant or we may be a politician or we may be a student or we may be somebody like me who is a master student in the universe university of gottingen in germany and then uh, also has a youtube channel maybe even one of my friend uh, her name is pooja she has her youtube channel she is also studying in the rwth aachen university in germany whatever you are you may be a mother in law a daughter in law you may be a father in law son in law <laughs> or you may be friends of so many people whatever is your duty that is the ninth house so dharma has to be very clear dharma is the uh, the meaning of the word dharma is the one which holds you dhariyate that is called dharma dharan in hindi you say na dharan karna <laughs> to hold to uphold that which upholds you of course the ultimate dharma of the living entity is to go towards god because that is why ninth house is also the house of god but i will not speak of that dharma now that is the topic of some other day but what i am trying to say here is if the sage can 
do his dharma even when the scorpion is going on putting the poison on and on then what reasons do you and me have for not doing our duty or not doing that which we are supposed to do or not doing that which we are expected to do depending on our position in the society all right so that is it from my side i hope i could give some motivation to kick off something whatever you want whatever you like to do please do it please share it with others and share this video also okay if you have any questions queries and comments then let me know below in the comment section or if you like this video like it and subscribe the channel until next time the next pushya nakshatra something new will come okay until next time bye bye see you